Onion skinning is a function of the Flash Professional timeline that allows the shadows of adjacent frames to be seen when working with assets on the stage. This lesson demonstrates the usefulness of this feature. So here in Flash Professional, I have a file open called framebyframe.fla, and within this file I have a frame-by-frame -frame animation of a ball moving from the left of the screen toward the center and then stopping. So what could make this easier to actually animate instead of blindly adding keyframes as I move forward? The answer would be onion skinning. So onion skinning is something that can be accessed at the bottom of the timeline, and it's these little controls right here where we can choose how onion skinning functions. So this button here, onion skin, will enable the feature for us. And you can see by default, we have the ability to see shadows of the frame before and the frame after the current playhead position. So we can actually expand this if we want to on both sides so that we can view a number of different frames on each side. And this is useful when we try to line up our animation and make sure that everything is going smoothly. So perhaps over here, if I want to start adding some more keyframes, I'll go in and insert a keyframe. And then here on this next keyframe, I can do the same. So insert a keyframe, insert a keyframe, and so forth. But now, if I edit this with onion skinning enabled, I can move it and still see where my previous position was. So it almost works as automated guides to help you animate content. So if I turn this off now, we can see that you know, it works pretty good. So a few of the other features of onion skinning we're also able to view onion skins as outlines. So this renders the object itself as well as outlines for the shadows in place of in place of those subdued objects that we saw before. And this can be toggled on and off from right there. We can also choose to edit multiple frames while we have onion skinning on. So this would allow us, you can see here, to actually keep the playhead at a specific frame, but edit a frame apart from that playhead. So if we were scrubbing through our animation, we noticed that, say, this frame right here was a little bit off. We could select it and make adjustments to its positioning without actually having to move the playhead at all. Another feature of onion skinning is this little markers control here, modify markers. So the markers are these sort of in and out points that we have selected here. If I access this menu, I can choose to always show markers. I can choose to anchor the markers. And let's toggle those back off. I can choose the range. So if I want to choose my entire animation, I can choose markers all it will automatically do that for me. Or you can choose a range of five, in which case we'll see five frames on either side, or a range of two, which shows me two frames on the other side. So it's a fairly flexible system. And you toggle them all off to edit normally. So this has been an example of how to use onion skinning to perform more precise animation within Flash Professional CS6.